Anyways, I'm at the top of the high school popularity chain, being in the sports team and all that. I don't bully people in case you're wondering. At least not physically. Huh? Everyone. So you might be confused as to why I'm dressed like such a dapper gentleman today And that is because I just came back from having a nice little fine dining experience in a restaurant And I thought that this outfit would be the perfect fit for refined activities such as reciting poetry Except in this case, instead of poetry We will be reciting the fanfiction I wrote on Wattpad when I was 12 years old I should really start thinking about the consequences of a digital footprint. So I actually haven't began reading any of this at all. The last time I saw this was when I was 12. What happened to Wattpad? Why is it so fancy now? Premium? There's premium Wattpad? What is this? What is this? Usually I would write my own original work, but since this is fan fiction, we're gonna start off with something that's meant for a fandom. And the fandom I was in at the time, was creepy pasta. So I decided to make an original character that's supposed to be like this really quirky, fun girl who doesn't really care that she's going to be living in a house filled with serial killers. It's all part of the vibe for her. Now no more dilly dallying, let's begin. Name, Shakwa, which is basically idiot in Chinese. I thought I was using my bilingual genius to the maximum here. Age, 15. Favorite color, white, black, and red. Favorite food, the souls of the innocent. A bagel. This was very 2016. Personality, sarcastic, stubborn, and kinda insane. She doesn't care about pain or death and is not interested in those things other girls are interested in. Oh my god, she's not like other girls. I like how this is genuinely concrete proof of me having my not like other girls face. Thus, she doesn't have a very social life, unless flirting with walls and chatting to soil counts. She's so quirky. Shut up, what a goofy gabber, damn. Catchphrase, oh, oh here we go. Why should I make myself normal just to please other people? I'm just lying to myself and them. If you don't like who I am now, then walk away. And hopefully walk down a cliff on the way. I've been having that's not a catchphrase, that's like a whole thesis statement. Like imagine being in a fight with people and then you have one moment to throw down the baddest line ever and then you just start reciting the Bible. Fears, nightmares, and being weak. Weaknesses, stubborn, tends to not take anything serious, unable to understand other people, and loses control when she is confused. <laughs> Shakwa sounds a little bit neurodivergent, not gonna lie. I love how loser's control is absolutely not clarified at all. It could mean anything. It could go from either murder or explosive diarrhea. There is no clarification on which one it is. And then at the end, I add a little author note. The bold words are from the author. Stay weak. Stay. Stay wired, everyone. Yeah, you better stay wired. You robots, you electronical devices, you're not Bluetooth yet. All right, so we have a little look into this character. She's edgy, she's not like other girls. She's possibly neurodivergent. Now let's move on to how it all began. <clears throat> Shakwa's POV. Lena, look, a tree, I said, jumping up and down. She rolled her eyes and said sarcastically, Yes, Shakwa, a tree, and another tree. Oh, look, another one. We're lost in the woods, dimwit. Okay, I like this character, actually. Lena's pretty cool. Ouch, I wonder who it is this dimwit she's talking about. Poor guy, his name is almost as bad as mine. I want to punch you. Lady, calm your nachos. We're only lost in the woods. It's not like there's anything to worry about. We have food, water, and the shelter. You mean half a burrito, sweat, and an umbrella, she mumbled. Exactly. That's enough to survive. Note to self. If burrito runs out, turn into a cannibal. She sighed and mumbled something about dying and stuff. 
Oh well. Suddenly, her expression turned serious. It's starting to get dark, Shakwa. You know what? That name's stupid. Oh, you just realized. Call me Stitches. Oh yeah, that's a that's a big improvement. That's a much better name for sure. Fine, it's getting dark, and I think this place is full of serial murderers. And your point is, we're gonna die. Oh, so she's worried about that. Good. I thought she was gonna say that there's another Justin oh, Bieber. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Trust me, my ears have been scarred for life. <laughs> Why was twelve-year-old me throwing hands with Justin Bieber in my Wattpad fanfiction? <laughs> we hear the branch break. I'm scared, she yelled. Haha, -ha, look at her. So worried over being lost in the woods without help, electricity, a 70% chance of dying and dehydration. Pshaw, nothing scary about that. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to? Yeah! No, we have to go home, I screamed. Finally, you realize the danger of the next episode of Death Note is gonna be downloaded soon and I have to know what happened. I blabbered away. Do you seriously, do you even know how hard it is to avoid spoilers? Why am I not surprised? Anyway, we have to. Suddenly, the bushes rustled. What was that? Lina yelped. Isn't it obvious? I began looking serious. The bushes have evolved. The bushes have evolved. My prayers have been answered. Whatever, let's just go. I've heard rumors about this forest. They say those who come in never make it out alive, she whispered. Instead, they turn into zombies and make it out dead, I asked. She face pumped and continued walking. What? What is that? Lena asked, suddenly stopping. She was trembling and her voice was shaking. God, is it a dodo bird? Seriously, those things freak me out. What? Oh god, I said, my eyes widening at the sight. On the tree bark, there was a drawing. Bum, bum, bum! Oh, we ended on a cliffhanger. Tell your old fowl knew how to keep the audience engaged. This is actually, why am I actually getting interested? <laughs> I just took a look at all the chapters. <laughs> Intro, how it all began. Meet the pastas. Buy pastas. And I think on that note, we are going to leave this on a cliffhanger. So next one. So this one is an original creation. It is called Not Our Love Story. Description. When a playboy meets his match. Category. When a playboy meets his match. There's only one chapter. Let's get this over with. So this is the POV of Chris. Oh damn, hi there. It's me, your local cafe's barista that stands out for two reasons. One, I have poor social skills. And two, I'm a tad bit wi wired. Fuck, now I can't say it properly. I'm a tad bit weird. But aren't we all? I can't remember the last time I fell in love. I think I was 14, with a girl that I didn't even feel attracted to. I just felt the need to get with someone since everyone else was doing it. Yo! <gasps> This is so me! I relate to this! This has been an ongoing issue for me since I was 12. I feel like I should be coming into a realization about my sexuality right now, but I'm gonna refuse that. But I then realized that commitment was hard as fuck. <laughs> and I didn't want to reply to her text 24-7. So I dumped her and went on to graduate university at an early age with a bachelor's degree in psychology. I was 16 at the time. Now I'm 17. You got a bachelor's at age 16? This is how you know 12 year old me had no idea how the education system worked. For some reason when I was 12, I was so against the idea of being an adult. Like being 18, <laughs> disgusting, what a nightmare. So I would just make all my characters teenagers but I still wanted them to get a high education. Some say that I'm a prodigy, but I think that I'm just bored all the time and study to keep myself occupied. But I ain't complaining. That's usually the only compliments I receive. But of course they would follow up that compliment with Too bad he's so freaky. Aww, Chris. It's like giving me the cure to my disease that's about to kill me in 30 seconds and then viciously ripping it away just before I inject it into myself. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna have to like 
take one minute to visualize that so that I can understand. I'm an okay-ish height, measuring at about 178 centimeters. 178. I mean, I guess that's like average. <laughs> Lean body and pale are skin with silver hair and green eyes. Why would I ever give my characters a green eye? Sometimes I dye my hair another color other than silver, but that's just when something happens. I never, and I repeat, never let my natural hair color show. First reasons that start with Nanya and ends with business. Okay. That's a pretty good one, I'll give it to you. I know there must be some edgy reason behind this, but it is so funny to imagine that Chris just doesn't want anyone knowing that he's a, that he's a natural ginger or something. <laughs> they can't know. They can't know that I'm secretly Ed Sheeran. Anywho, I went on to become a fashion designer. <laughs> That's anonymous. My clothing line only says Silver Cough as its brand. Okay, I think I see what's happening here. So when I was 12, I wanted to either be a psychologist or a fashion designer, if you remember from my previous video. So I'm projecting myself onto this character as much as possible, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted him to be. So I'm just like, oh well, I might as well just give him all the occupations in the world. Nobody knows I'm the creator, and that's chill with me. I don't like people, and if I reveal myself as the creator, people will talk to me, and like I've said before, interacting? Disgusting. Which kind of makes me a hypocrite since I'm a barista. How many jobs do you have? And I have to interact with my customers, but they just say the names of the drinks they want, nothing else. Maybe a hello, how are you, and a thanks. Bro is 17 and working like 3 jobs, sometimes even an occasional, I love your hair, to which I feel obligated to return the compliment, even when they're in a suit that looks like it's pulled out from the dump. Oh my god, he's an asshole! <laughs> or I could just act like I lost my voice, something I need to stop doing but it's honestly really effective. He would rather pretend that he caught a cold that is so bad that it made him lose the ability to use his vocal cords than to compliment someone back. And then he goes on to say this, I would say I'm a decent human being. I'm playful, quite stubborn and annoying. I lack like social skills, I'm a bit too no filter, and I don't sugarcoat the truth, which in turn makes me both liked and hated. I'm brilliant at arts and gymnastics, but any other sports is a big nope for me. Basically, when I was doing this, I was thinking to myself, okay, he's a little bit too perfect in like the skills department. I should give him a flaw. What's one thing I don't care about being bad at? Sports. And that's the end of Chris's introduction. And now we're moving on to his match, Jason. Heh. Do I even need an introduction? Hello ladies, wings, oh, and boys who? My god, a bisexual king. The name is Jason, most attractive man around town. Why are they all such assholes? Tan skin, gorgeous blue eyes, and messy blonde hair. What more do you want? Oh my god. See these muscles? They were sculpted by that Micah dude himself. You mean Michelangelo? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, wanna know how I look? Imagine the hardest sexy Greek god out there and make him 10 times harder. Yup, that's more. I have. I have probably done the hoo-ha with 90. Nothing. I never finished that sentence. He could have done the hoo-ha with 90. With 90 girls, 90 boys, 90 people. I hope that's where the list ends. And that's it, I never finished this. Which is honestly a shame because both of these characters actually sound pretty fun. And then I found this which is called Undecided. And I think it is supposed to be a remake of the previous story but with more depth to the characters. And I'll just read the introduction for you, okay? Chris has been replaced with a guy called Alban. Hey, I'm Alban, born with really pale skin. Blue eyes, we got rid of the green. Hair, that's dyed silver to fit my skin. <laughs> I've never heard someone say this. Oh uh, yeah, I dyed my hair beige olive. 
to match the color of my complexion. So now I just look really bald. I work in a cafe near a high school, so my day usually consists of bringing coffee to horny teenagers. Excuse me? What a life, am I right? Currently 16, graduated early, a bachelor's degree in psychology, a proud member of society, becoming a freaking barista. But life is pretty chill, I suppose. Not a lot of drama going on in my life after I finally turned 12. The years before I was 12, are a taboo topic. I shat my pants and wet the bed. I live in an average apartment with a dog. I would have become a lecturer if I didn't have poor social skills. And if you weren't 16! I cannot bond with kids my age, let alone teach them. So in conclusion, all you need to know about me is I'm super pale, silver hair and blue eyes, a sorry excuse of a half Latino, can't speak the, can't speak the language. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my favorite language, Latino. <laughs> now onto the replacement of that other guy that I forgot his name. Flexing my muscles in front of the mirror has become a habit lately. <laughs> I have the body of a cliche high school jock, six pack, tan skin, caramel brown eyes, and beautiful dark brown hair. I know, I can just hear my fangirl screech in the distance. Anyways, I'm at the top of the high school popularity chain, being in the sports team and all that. I don't bully people in case you're wondering. At least not physically. Huh? I just want my posse to think I'm badass and stuff. In reality, I ain't any of those badass jock bullshit. I'm a real sweetheart. No, but nobody in hell is gonna know that. Nope. Nobody is gonna know about how I spoil my little sis with piggyback rides and sweets. Nobody is gonna know that I like fashion and stuff like that. Nah, nah. I'd drop out of that popularity chain faster than the rapid reproduction rate. That, that's a very interesting um, analogy to use. 17 years old, living the dream of a fake ass life. And then it ends. That's it for now. I have so much more that I can read, but I feel like this video is gonna stretch on forever in that case. Hope you all enjoyed this video. It's just a nice little read along that I wanted to share. More of little foul moments, you know? Let me know if you're interested in reading more. Are you Team Chris or Team Joshua? Love ya! Bye bye! Surprise punch!